Hello and welcome to A Quest for Metal. Today we're talking about the latest Lorna Shaw album, much anticipated and a lot of infamy kind of surrounding this release at the moment actually, because of uh, CJ McFeely's uh, behind the scenes antics. But I don't fucking care. I don't care about that shit. Get that shit out of here. Forget about that, because we're here to talk about music. And if you can sing fucking good, I don't care what he's done. So let's talk about the fucking album, let's talk about the songs, and if it's actually worth your time to listen to. So ignore the politics, ignore all that shit, that doesn't make or break an album, you know? I used to listen to Burzum, they're one of my favourite bands. I mean, he, he fucking killed the guy, <laughs> and like they burn churches, and does that stop me from enjoying those albums? No. I still love fucking Migwa. Even though they're on a record label, which is a bit shady. But they're still a fucking fine band. Still love all their fucking albums. Uh, Vector's one of my favourite fucking thrash bands. So, it doesn't matter what people have done. If they can make great art, it kind of transcends like what they've done. If you know what I mean, it kind of just goes above. It goes above actions. You shouldn't just dismiss an album... Because of fucking tabloid headlines or word of mouth, blah, blah, blah. Anything like that, you shouldn't just discredit something. Same with video games, same with movies. People just, like Joker was getting boycotted because it like promoted incel rage, I think that's what they said. Fuck off. You should feel what you want, you should listen to what you want, and you should always have fun. And if the album is shit, I'm going to tell you it's shit. Doesn't matter if they gave loads of money to an orphanage or... Saved loads of people in Africa. If the album's shit, I'm going to tell you it's shit. And if they fucking stabbed a guy and the album's amazing, I'm going to tell you the album's amazing because it's music and I'm here to talk about the music. So we spent too much time not talking about the music, so let's get straight to the album. Now, yes, this is a Lorna Shaw album, so you're going to expect Deathcore. Deathcore to the highest caliber because it is fucking intense. You're in for an intense ride. And I've just got to talk about those vocals. Those vocals are fucking amazing. He he has an amazing range. He can do that fucking gargly Shrek kind of <laughs> growls. It's probably not what it's called. Cookie Monster, that's it. Not Shrek, what the fuck am I talking about? But yeah, that Cookie Monster kind of... <laughs> kind of frog gurgle that people say. Love it. He can do that. He can do, like, the clean kind of singing as well. Plus, high shrieks there are. Not quite as black metal as I'd like. But still, he has some high singing, some low singing, some gargles, some death growls. He has a fucking dynamic range. I love it. His voice is amazing. His voice is fucking amazing. And it's not quite the caliber as, like, uh, Cattle Decapped or Anal Nafrak or Infant Annihilator. But... It's almost there. It's almost there. Such a fucking great vocalist. It's a shame he's fucking not in the band. But that aside, the vocals on these songs you can expect to be fucking amazing. If you love deathcore, just mental, you'll love this. Now let's talk about the songs. The song Immortal, which was the first single released, is a six minute deathcore song. And I thought it would be like overdrawn kind of just boring throughout, but no, they kept the intensity in, it has a really cool intro, great start to the album, kind of, um, you wouldn't think it'd be on a deathcore song, that kind of intro, and the outro matches it perfectly, so it's a nice kind of mountain of a song, you got the, you got the beginning, you got the end, kind of matching each other, and then all the intensity throughout, forming that peak of the mountain, such a great song, such a great single, and an amazing way to kick off the album, because it sets you straight into gear, you know exactly what you're getting in for, harsh as fuck vocals, amazing growling, amazing range, guitars just brutal as all hell, heavy as hell, and the drumming to boot, you know, the drumming matches it equally, everything in this song is perfect, it's one of, it's one of the best deathcore songs released in a while. Now, the next song I want to talk about, my actual favourite on the album, This Is Hell. The guitar solo on this, amazing. I love the tone of it. I just love how just otherworldly it feels. 
otherworldly is the word. It's fucking, it's awesome. It's an awesome song, awesome guitar in this one, and his vocals again. Can't stop praising them because <sighs> those low gurgles, oh, so good in this song. And just the the beats, the melody, the boom, boom, like dropping the bass kind of shit in this song. Top notch, bloody good time, love it. 10 out of 10 song. Now let's talk about a more faster, intense song and another highlight off the album, King of Deception. Again, this is probably the song that showcases his vocals the best, I think. His vocals in this song are just amazing. It sounds like I'm just sucking his dick the entire time, but no, he's, he's a great vocalist. He's a great vocalist and he shows it on this song amazingly and the song is kind of fast, it's intense, it's three minutes, so it, you know, it has a lot more crammed in. It's a lot more juicy stuff crammed in compared to the first like couple which are like five minutes, five minutes, six minutes. Um, I do like these kind of fast, shorter kind of deathcore songs as well. Um, usually I don't like longer deathcore songs, but they manage to do it quite well, I think, with the first three tracks. They manage to do it quite well, which is a rare thing to do. But yeah, I, lo I love the short ones. For deathcore, I love the short ones. And this is easily one of my favourites. The guitar tone, just the intensity of everything. Love this song. One of my favourites off the album. Now let's talk about the album Closer, Relentless Torment. Now this is an epic song. It's an epic song. That outro I adore. It just has that kind of choir-esque, uh, filling a stadium kind of feeling. Just like an epic kind of opera sound to it. I don't know if I'm the only one feeling that, but it just seems so grandiose, if you know what I mean. It seems so grandiose, and I love the outro. The outro is just mwah, perfect outro to the album. You got your perfect album opener, you got the perfect album closer, in my opinion. They both kind of match each other really well with the kind of instrumental kind of intros, and then the instrumental outros, which kind of sets the mood. You kind of feel good after hearing this song. You know, you feel good. You feel like you've had a good time with the album. That's what this song delivers and delivers well. Um, so I do like this album quite a bit. I think it's a great deathcore album. Of course, I'm still getting into deathcore. I was kind of just dismissive of the whole genre, say, a year ago until I heard Whitechapel. And then I was like, yeah. And now I'm into like Infant and fucking Suicide and loads of other Thy Artist Murder shit like that. But this, this is a great, a great album. I think the album flows quite well from track to track. It kind of drags in the middle a little bit. I think the best parts are at the beginning, the best parts are at the end. Middle's fine. Nothing to write home about, but it's not terrible either. So this is going to be a fairly high score. I know I've not really given any shit scores to any albums yet, but hey, what can I say? I've liked all the albums I've listened to. And this is no different. This is a fantastic album. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Really good if you like deathcore. Some of the best vocals in the game. Tell me. Come on. Some of the best vocals in the game. I love it. 8 out of 10 for Immortal by Lorna Shaw. Again, the only complaints really. Drags drags a bit in the middle. T takes a bit too long. Maybe cut a couple of tracks. Have it short and sweet. But overall, yeah, I had a, gr I had a great time with this album. Didn't think I really would. Everyone was like shit talking it and stuff, but nah. It's a good album. Ignore the controversy. Good album. Go listen to it. Go listen to it. Because the rest of the band, they didn't fucking do anything. So, what was, what, you gonna punish them for it? No. No. <laughs> Fuck that. You're better than that. Great album. 8 out of 10. Let me know what you guys thought of the album in the comments below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you even like Deathcore? If not, try the album, and if you shit on it, fine. Everyone has taste. I think this is a good album. You might not. Tell me in the comments if you don't or not. What's your most anticipated albums as well coming up? Because there's a, quite a lot to come. Uh, I'm super excited for um, Sepultura's new album. That's going to be fun. I'm super excited for like Maiden, stuff like that. Oh, that's going to be so good. So yeah, tell me in the comments below, and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.